What precautions should you take when conducting and learning dog tricks? Dog tricks by all means do not require strenuous activity on your animal, but I certainly would be aware of the place that you're learning the tricks so there's no excessive height or landing precautions. My other concern with dog tricks is I always want the dog to understand that they're the follower and not the leader. So I don't want your dog, every time you start with either a sit or a roll over command, to actually think or assume what the next trick will be. I have many owners that I've helped that show me that their dog after one command all of a sudden automatically does six in a row. Not to say that's bad, but I want the dog to always follow the human leader for the next command. I then illustrate to the customer I don't want them to have a dog on a leash come to a, come to a street or a road and think what the next command is going to be in case a car is coming. So I want customers to always think, do tricks in an order where the dog is always looking to you for the next command or trick.